Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. We're back today with our Chelsea series, quadruple or nothing. We have one season, we need to win all four trophies. We're off to a flying start. The boys been in great form, as you can see here already. First in the Premier League. First, we haven't been messing around at all. And of course, the first episode, that 1-1 draw, we're very disappointed to see that last minute goal as well. We played really well that match, we should have had it done. Not 33 shots, but Yarmolenko popped up late. Got the equaliser and was like, right. It's going to be the turning point now. We need to fix things up here. And since then, we've absolutely been demolishing it. Absolutely demolishing it. Next game is after that. Crystal Palace at home. Battered them. Absolutely battered them. 4-2 victory. Kaku banging goals as well. Two goals to Kaku as well. We said he's going to be the key to this team this season. If we want to get a quadruple, prove this game. Two big goals for him. Virginia from the spot. ZH light on as well. Massive, massive winning as Palace. Into the next one. EFL Cup, only a 1-0 victory away at home against Burton. It's weird because you see, we went for a really strong team as well, and we were so lucky in that game. I mean, it's a game we dominated, clearly. You can see from possession, that's complete. Everything absolutely dominated. The fact we didn't score was very, very weird. Burton were very defensive in the game, but the crucial thing is we won just about 95th minute. Not our strongest performance. A point of the game where I thought, mm, okay. Something in right here, but we move and we went to Brighton away not long afterwards as well. Another 2 0 victory. Lukaku again, Hudson Odoi, both on the score. Shows Hudson done a really good season so far as well. But there is a problem for him. Pulisic is back from injury now. But we'll see more of him soon. So, next up, EFL Cup, fourth round now. After that 1 0 victory in Burton, we went to Norwich. Absolutely hammered them. Hammered them 5 1, in fact. Again, Lukaku banging two goals as well. Chilwell getting a rare goal. Christiansen as well off the bench. Bagging one. Jorginho again with another goal for him. Absolutely massive. You can see, man, like this formation. We're getting the ball and we're getting a lot of shots off. Absolutely tons of shots off. Which equals for the high goals in every game. As you can see against Brentford here. At home against Brentford. Absolutely pulling to the sword. Early on as well. Ziyech and Havertz getting early goals. No for 20 minutes. Jorginho penalty. And yeah, unlucky with the own goal, really. He was really unlucky about that one. And then again, Ziyech popping up late as well. Nothing from the hack of this game, but... He's very much involved in the game. Quite a few assists as well, if I'm correct in thinking so, but he absolutely smashed it. The team did, and then into the most recent one. We were going to record this one, but then before, you know what? Champions League. Start the Champions League, let's record that one instead. Another important game. But yeah, we took on Liverpool at home as well, and another victory. Undefeated still. Still undefeated, which is important as well. Rudiger with the open at Lukaku. Matic pulled one back, but Gigi Uno came from the spot, made it 3-1. We gave one up unluckily to Mane late on, really. But again, another game in which we've done really well. But in the stats, it didn't really work as well, this formation. To make me think, is this the right formation for the big games? Obviously, we got the win in this game. But I think we're quite lucky in terms of everything else on paper here. Liverpool are quite lucky not to not win this game. But we take it, though. We take it because we got the goals. And that's the important thing. That is the key thing. And now we come into this one. Ajax. Away from home, the first game of the Champions League. Obviously, we're going for an all fronts so yeah. here. EFL Cup, we're through to the next round now. Bang in, great. Premier League, all your top five games in, haven't lost yet. Everton, only team haven't lost yet as well, alongside us. So it's been an interesting season so far. Quite a few teams here and there, but Spurs have really low down. Man U sitting ninth, Liverpool eighth. Only five games in. I know it means nothing at this point. But the Kaku's there though, four goals, joint top goal scorer. So it's good to see. Romelu's up there already. The whole reason we brought him in was his goals. We have him in real life for his goals. He's in the team here for them goals. Important stuff. But yeah, Champions League. This is the group. So Ajax, Seville, Loco with Moscow. I mean, it's a group which we've been on top of really, certainly with this team. But we're into the first game today against Ajax. Let's see how it gets on. Here's who we're putting in the team. So, very much similar to what we've been doing most of the season so far, but we do have a few problems, a few injuries, which we'll come to in a moment. So, Livakovic in net, the new signing, the only time we made in the end. We didn't want to bring no one else in. Reese James, Zuma, Rudiger, Chilwell, Kante, ZH playing as the deep line playmaker in that CM role. All custom injuries, which we'll have a look at in a moment. We pull us each, Havertz, Werner, Lukaku in that front four. Absolutely massive front four. But yeah, as we mentioned, there's a few niggles and problems here we do have. We actually put Pilar on the bench. Probably some more in there, shouldn't we really? We'll put Chalibur in there. 
give Malang Sar a rare appearance. I'm not the cheek of Malang as well. Why not? It's bring Malang. So yeah, Marcus Alondo is actually suspended, so he won't come along today. Probably wouldn't have played anywhere over Chill well. Cody or Jorginho are the main ones though. Normally Jorginho would be playing, but actually suspended for this match. And the other one then, Kovacic who would play in that role instead. He's out injured. So we're dropping ZX from that right hand side into that deep line playmaker role. Pulisic comes back from his injury. Start on the right hand side. We'll see how he does out there. Normally he does on this left, but we're going to play Werner there instead. See how the two work together because obviously they're both very good dribbling rapid players. So as an inside forwards, you expect to see a lot from them getting involved inside the middle of the pitch and linking up with Lukaku really, really well. So we'll see how it gets on. Huge game. First game of the Champions League season. Here we go against Ajax. Here we go. A bit of Champions League football for you. What more could you want from an episode? A little bit of Champions League. I would sing the song, but I'll probably get... Will I get a flag for copyright from singing it? My subtle tone's that good? That it sounds too similar to the real thing? Possibly. Who knows? We won't risk it, though. There's an opening highlight here. These normally don't need to add to anything normally, but... It's going on for quite a while here. So I actually on the attack here. Klaassen swings into the box and look like it's just absolutely no one. Absolutely poor. Poor, poor, poor cross from him. It's chill while now with the throw. He finds ZH. Z is playing that deep line playmaker role. Should be interesting there. We could have played someone like Loftus Cheek in the middle instead, but we've gone for ZH playing there instead. There's Werner's had the ball for a long time here. We're going to be like jogging with the ball very slowly. Reese James, he's lost out to Taglifico. Tadic, Gravenbech, into Kudus now. I act on the counter here. A lot of room on the right hand side for David Neres. Neres has a go, he's pulled it straight wide. I'm very unlucky for Neres, to be fair. It's a very good counter for my axe. Need to be more careful of those. Tag the Afiko now. If one's grabbing Birch. Larson, Kudos, Anthony, Tadic. Chelsea doing the counter from this, but Tag is going to get the ball very easily. Z finds Daily Blind, he smashes it all the way upfield. Livakovic as, as long as he wants, really, on the ball. No real urgency from him as he finds Rudiger. Nice little one, too. Plays it field and lost possession for Chelsea. Poor pass from him. Neres, Anthony. Neres again and Livakovic a massive save. Huge save. I've been dominant side so far in the opening 15 minutes here. The Tate swings the ball in. James heads it clear. Never didn't pick it up again now. Ajax looking for an early goal here at home. I will not put them as favourites. But at home it's always going to be dangerous. As Pulisic finds Havertz. Havertz tries again. Third time and... Havertz has finally got it in from the fourth time of attempting a shot. He slipped it in here. Bit of, bit of a poor goal for Alex to give away, honestly, I'm not going to lie. Poor goal from the giveaway. It's Polish has got the ball here on the edge of the box. Found the Havertz here. He must have tried, he must have tried four times, surely. One, two. Oh no, three times, sorry. My mistake. Three times, but eventually Havertz slides it in. 1 0 Chelsea. Polish it now. He finds Kante. Since the goal, it's been very much Chelsea's game so far. I've been dominating since then. It's Havertz, Werner, and Vern. Oh. Werner very much living up to what he's doing in real life. Just can't find the target. It's chill ball now. Here finds Havertz. A lot of room behind him still. Is the edge now. Loses the ball. Poor from him, really. He needs to be doing better than that. He needs to pass out them situations. Anthony finds Kudos now. Huge strike from him in. Buckets award. Absolutely buckets. Tagliafico now. He finds Tadic. I actually want to get back into this game here, but they haven't really created any good chances, to be honest. In terms of chances, man, we've Chelsea have had the better chances so far this game. But hopefully we can get the second and put this to bed early on. It's Tadic finds Tagliafico into Graf and Birch. Huge ball crossed now. It's class and goes first time and Livakovic makes it look easy. I'm not bothered at all about it. Tadic now the free kick. Finds Mazrai. Tadic again. The coach dive for it. No one there. I was having to call offside here. Tag the figures on the offside. We'll take that going to half time. I mean, it's very, a very easy result so far from us. Ajax haven't put enough pressure on our goal. The chances they've had have been very, very poor so far. And they probably deserve to get a goal at this point, but they've been very poor chances. Havertz now. Huge ball for Lukaku. Space to run to. He's gone for the. Ch I don't know why he's gone for a ship there against Stecklenburg. Really no idea where he went for that for. That's poor from him. It's Tadic now to free kick the other end of the pitch. That's all right. Nice little one-two again from them two. It's Tadic smashing his round to Livakovic. Going to half-time here. They remain 1-0 Chelsea you'd imagine unless something mad's to happen here. When we're playing at the back, anything can happen. It's Livakovic boots it forward. And here goes Werner actually the other end of the pitch. It's Timo Werner and he's put it straight to Stettlenburg. He's got to be getting better than that. He's got to be doing better. But at half-time, it's 1-0 to Chelsea. 
Ajax probably could deserve a goal for this first half. They played very well, but we'll take it. We'll take it. So we come back for the second half. Mount's going for Ziyech now in that CM role instead. I wasn't too impressed by Ziyech. Hang on, Lukaku might be through here early on. Ah, oh, he's not too far wide. Ball back into the box. Graven Birch clears it into Chilwell. Can Chelsea make anything happen from this? Still Chilwell into Mason Mount now. Got options. Finds Kante. Back to Zuma as the holler ends. But yeah, wasn't too impressed as yet in the deep line playmaker role. Didn't really work for us. So we've taken him out now. We're going to try him out there instead. Sawi gets on there. I mean, the other player's an option, really, more box to box options like Bakayoko. Barkley could probably do it, maybe, but he hasn't really played yet. Anthony's through on goal, and Anthony makes it 1 1. We've been saying for a while, Ajax probably deserve a goal, and they've proven they're worth it. Yeah. It's a great bit of play for my Ajax here as well from the bag. Alvarez here finds ball forward to Klaassen. And Klaassen has so much room to run into here. He gives Anthony onto his left foot and just puts it around the keeper easily. Poor from Chelsea, but a good goal for Ajax. Blind, Tagliafico. Anthony's through again here, and it's a good save from Livakovic here. Ajax pulling the pressure on. Worrying time for Chelsea. We haven't lost a game yet since we've been in charge. So we don't want that to change right now. Especially in the Champions League when we got so much to try and win. We want to get all four trophies. Mount's corner does not find Zuma. Tadic now finds Anthony. He's one on one here. We can get past his man. He has done. Anthony and oh, Luca Lee. Really good back there to save the day. Just as we're saying that, we're going to do another change here. We're actually going to put Mount now into that position in that cam roll. I mean, we're leaving Bakayoko on here. And when we see much Bakayoko so far, I think there's a ball winning midfielder. He could do some damage and help out here. And we've got one sub left, and we've got a lot of tired legs there. Chill could probably do coming off. We'll bring Abzal Quetta on there as well. Why not? And we've got a lot of time to go here, and all our subs are going to be gone. We're playing very dangerously. It's Tatis as a corner now for Ajax. Big ball in. Livakovic, no problem all for him, though. So with all our subs gone, this could be worrying. I mean, we got 60, 60 minutes. It's been 60 minutes. You ain't got 60 minutes left. We've got 30 minutes to go. No subs left. And we'd get a winner still here. It's Bakayoko. Finds Kante. Load room for James on his right hand side here. I can get the ball into the box. James, it's going to be a corner. Corner for Chelsea. I mean, we've been dominant from corners so far this season. Zuma and Rudiger have been loving these corners so far. Rudiger. Oh, it's a great save. Shinji Akizaki. That's a name I've not seen for a while since Leicester. As if he's Ajax. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Speaking of Ajax, he is Akazaki now. Plays it all the way back into Stecklenburg. As a Rai. Zoom wins out of these. And Werners can't get on the end of it though. We haven't really seen much of Werners this game. He looked decent at the start, really. He had that one chance where he ran past quite a lot of defenders and then nothing since then. It's, oh my god, it was me a penalty. It's very unlucky then. Well, lucky for us. Oh, lucky for Ajax. Missouri now. Finds Neres. Klaassen. Huge ball in. We James heads it clear. Finds Mount. Hopefully, Chelsea can count from this. That's all quite out. He's just back up through the Mount here. Lukaku. Surely Lukaku's got to score this. And he does. Romelu Lukaku. He's seventh for the season. He's absolutely firing goals ahead this season. He's loving life here. Back at the bridge. And again, away from home today. He's doing the business. Again, Mason Mount here. What an idea to bring him into that cam roll because he's done so well to find Lukaku here. So he smashed it past Stecklenburg. Ajax 1, Chelsea 2, absolutely quieter. He finds Timo Werner into Mason Mount. Oh, I mean, that third would be ideal right now. Be some of the tired legs out there to get that third goal and sit back and take the pressure for a bit of the game. So they've got another sub available actually. It's not even been Barkley on. He could possibly could have more than three substitutions here. I haven't done Champions League in the first season, the COVID restrictions in the game yet, so I'm not totally sure how it works and how many subs you get. So Anthony now, oh, what a save from Livakovic. Absolutely massive. Yeah, I think we'll get through this highlight. We might see if I can take off then. Get rest of his legs. As Alvarez smashes over the bar. So our final two changes now. Melanzar comes in at left back. Abdul Quetta moves to that right back role, so Richard can come off the pitch. And a lot of the cheek actually going to come on here. Hang on. Oh, Livakovic, how's it look? It's scary then that was. Livy's gonna get the ball first then. But yeah, as we were saying, Loftus Cheek comes in now for Kante. Two players haven't really played yet for us in Malangsa and Loftus Cheek, so give them a few minutes as well in a game we're winning. We should have this comfortably done as well. Give them both a chance, see how they impress the last few minutes here. 
Right, mount of the corner. I'm going to stop his time and zoom ahead just straight to Stecklenburg. Zuma has been so key getting these set pieces this season so far. It's a massive ball forward now from Stecklenburg. Tadic is through here. There's no one behind him. Oh, Lukovic again. This keeper. I wasn't too sure when I signed him, thinking we're going to let Kepa go for like quite cheap to Madrid as well. We keep Mendy as number two, but Livakovic has proved his worth so far. As Werner now drives forward and Blind is just smashed into his own crowd here. His own crowd. The away supporters behind him. Mount. Chelsea. Can you get a winner here? Make your friend. He's pretty straight towards goal. Has Mason Mount shot there? I'll say that. Settling the birds. Long ball food again. Sebastian Haller now. Oh my. What a strike from Haller. Stettlenburg with the assist as well. It's 2-2. Two -two. Chelsea caught asleep at the back here. Everyone up field from the corner and just been done in. Completely done in. Centre backs couldn't get back there fast enough. And Haller's had to go from distance. And we're just seeing Liverpool's praise. I don't, I don't know why he even did there. He like wiggled his arms around, just didn't go nowhere near it. There might be another draw on the cards here. Tagli Fico now. Mine's Martinez. This has become a theme of the series that uh, every game we do off camera we win. Put a game on camera, we get a draw instead. I mean, if it's undefeated and that happens for the season, we'll probably win it all still, but I'd say that. It's be knockout stages eventually, probably, and then we'll get knocked out. That wouldn't be ideal. It's Werner now. He finds him out. That's a Werner. He's got to put it in. Oh, so what a save from Stecklenburg. Class save. We've run over stoppage time already here. Can we get a winner? Mountain now with the corner. Looking for Zuma, really good heads here, surely. Zuma, oh, he's been tipped over again. It's going to be another corner. Hopefully the winner could be on here, surely. The big lads at the front stick here. They know where it's going. Mountain swing it in. Rudiger is put out the bar, and that's going to be it, surely. 2-2 two -two draw on the Rogan Ajax. It's not the best of starts, but it is away from home. We're probably the hardest team in our group between them and Seville. Both about even, I'll probably say, in terms of the size quality, but... A game in which Ajax probably should have won. They really deserved it. They're probably a better team for most of it, but when we had the ball, we looked good. But Lukaku has been very quiet. Werner, didn't even see Policy the entire match. Didn't even see him, but it's his first game back from a long injury, so it can be expected. Not the best of results, but we'll move on. Yeah, you're unlucky, lads. You're unlucky. So until next time, if you are enjoying this series, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for notifications, and press that thumbs up button. Let us know you're liking the videos. It really does help people get eyes on the product. So it would be amazing. Again, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time with Chelsea. Quadruple or nothing.